Hey, it's Cameron back with the sales update video. This is from May of this year. All the sales that I've had. I'm not going to do all the tabs um, and kind of delete them out to show you stuff. I'm just going to scroll through all the sales through the seller search. I just searched myself and pulled them all up here. Um, so we can see what sold, what I've been buying, what I've been making on things. It's kind of the proof is in the pudding mindset to show you guys um, things that I've actually made money on. So if you are going out there, you'll um, know what you can get for something. It's easy to do a haul video and say something's worth a certain amount, but until it sells for that, it really isn't worth anything. So let's just jump right in here. Um, the first sale of the month was the Human Torch mask and glove set for Marvel uh, from the Fantastic Four. It's from the early 2000s. I listed it with the costume and cosplay in there. Um, had it for a little while. I paid 50 cents or a dollar or something like that, and it sold for 18 bucks. So that was pretty good. Um, I also sold a Wowie Light Strike laser tag gun. I love laser tag and Nerf guns. Um, Wowie, these ones are really good. They're a little harder to find. But they do super well. Uh, I paid five bucks for this one. Um, it did work, and I sold it out for fifty bucks. And I think I only shipped for twelve dollars or something like that. So pretty good for a five dollar investment. Definitely look out for the Wowie Light Strikes. There's a couple of different ones. This one's a yellow one. I think there's a blue one and a red one as well, and they all look a little different. So. Those are pretty cool. Video games, one of my favorite things to sell, as well as the Nerf guns and stuff. This is a Deadly Creatures game. Picked it up in a lot of Wii games for 20 bucks. I think there were 10 or 12 in total. Um, this one sold for 15 bucks. I'd never heard of it before, didn't know about it until I looked it up. It turned out to be worth 15, and it sold pretty quickly. So that was great. This is a pretty funny sale. Did we really love? It's a DVD series. It's either Korean or Japanese. I don't remember correctly, but. Um, I had paid $3.99 for it at Savers, and I ended up taking a best offer of $40 on it. Um, it ships media mail, so super easy. Um, obviously not something I knew anything about, but just happened to look it up and saw that they were listed pretty high. None had actually sold, but they were listed like $89 on eBay and pretty high on Amazon as well. So I figured, well, for $4, I'll take a chance on it, and I ended up getting $40 for it. So pretty awesome. A Dunian Burke bag. It's a dust bag. It's for purses. We had sold a bunch of um, Dunian Burke purses. Most of them were new or in really good shape from a friend of my wife's. And they had, they all came with dust bags. We didn't include the dust bags in there because they don't add a lot of value to the actual sale. But individually, you can sell them for about 20 bucks. So this was one that went out for 20 I've sold four or five now. I think I have a couple left. Uh, I just list aside the measurements on them, and even though they have little wrinkles in them and stuff like that, people still do buy them. Uh, the next thing, two more video games coming up from the same, well, one of them is from the same lot. The Kirby is from the, uh, actually, they're both from the same lot of Wii games. The Kirby um, sold for 13 It was complete. There is a better Kirby's game on the Wii. I don't know if I, I think I sold it earlier in April. Um, this one was only worth 13 Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkiachi 3. Not sure on the pronunciation, but this sold for 32 bucks. Pretty good. Um, I didn't have the manual, so I would have got a little bit more. Um, this same game, if you actually, you should really memorize this one. They have three different ones, Tenkiachi, Kaiachi 1, 2, and 3. The third one is the best. The other two not as valuable, but it's even better on the PS2. So if you find that name on the PS2, Pick it up. The last one I bought, I think I had in April. I picked it up for two bucks at a garage sale um, and sold it for 65. So that was an awesome, awesome score there. So I was very happy. Uh, picked up uh, a bunch of emblems for for cars. Were actually three from a guy. He had a bunch of Chevy emblems. There were three emblems in total for ten dollars. So blessed to have a some emblems. I love selling the old car stuff. Um, I usually do pretty well, and I did on this one. Uh, pay 10. This is the K5 Blazer emblem. Sold it for a best offer of 40 bucks within a couple of days of listing. So that was pretty good. And in the video, we'll get to a couple of the other ones that I had as well. Uh, Pokemon Game Boy Color. Missing the battery cover. I know you can see my shadow in the picture. My pictures aren't always the greatest. I know I need to do a better job on that. But usually I'm in a rush and trying to do it before bed. Um, but I'm still making money. So obviously people are okay with buying it with the pictures and the quality they're in. Uh, this one was 20 bucks. I paid a dollar for it. It did not work. Um, it powered on, but the screen would stay blank. Um, there's no real scratches or holes in the screen. It looks like it has water damage. But I knew that this actual Game Boy in working condition sells pretty well. So I figured for parts or something someone might want it. Listed it for parts. Broken. Sold for 20 bucks. 
IBM marketing measuring tape. I don't know if actually for marketing or if it was actually for an IBM employee or something like that, but I had picked it up for 50 cents or a quarter, and it sold on a best offer down to someone in San Diego for 15 bucks, and they were super happy with it, so that was awesome. Um, I don't really do a lot of like IBM stuff. I mean, I know that some of them can sell, but this is my first real thing um, from them that I had, and I was happy with the turnaround. Um, Scrabble tiles do really well. This is actually wooden Sudoku tiles um, from a Sudoku board game. I paid a dollar for the game, took out all the wooden tiles. There's actually two different sizes, and there's just some small ones and some big ones. 170 of them sold for 13 bucks for a dollar, and they ship first class. It's really easy to make seven bucks off that, so I'm happy with that. Um, baseball caps, this is a Piedmont Airlines snapback. I bought six hats for three dollars. Already sold an Olympic hat out of there for 25. This one, a um, person offered me 15 bucks, said it was a birthday gift for their dad. I counted with 20, thinking they were so far away from my total of 30 that they might accept my offer of 20. I didn't hear back from them from a day, for a day or so. I'm going on the second day, so I emailed them, I messaged them, and said, "Hey, I'll do 15. Just re-offer it, you know, for your dad's birthday." He messaged me back, took the offer of 20, and said, "No need. My dad was an airline pilot for Piedmont Airlines, um, and this would be a cool hat to get him. I think he'd enjoy it." So I ended up getting the money that he offered that I wanted originally at 20, so that was pretty cool. And I only paid 50 cents, so pretty awesome. Book lots are one of my other favorite things, uh, along with uh, video games and Nerf guns and stuff. Book lots do really well. Dr. Seuss is one of those. I have 28 books. Now, if you're getting them for a quarter or 50 cents, I sold this lot for $55. If I'm getting them for 50 cents or less, that's only $14 invested, and they'll ship media mail. So for, like, what, 7 or $8 maybe for all those books, that's really not too bad Forty for, like, 40-something dollars for $14 invested. So... I'll do that with books because um, they're easy to store, easy to ship. You don't have to use any packing material, really. You just find a box that fits them, throw them in there. People are usually happy. Even with Dr. Seuss, you can get away with names in the front cover. Um, I, I'll, people will buy those. I'll always list it in the description. They don't really like coloring on the pages. I found that those just really are not going to get you that much. Someone might buy them, but you're better off not even picking those ones up. As long as they're in, the pages are in good shape, maybe a name in the cover then you'll be okay. Um, another book lot, this is the first you know, Steps to Reading Alphabet Books um, by Jane Moncure. These ones we paid, I think, 12 or $15 for in a thrift store. Thought I would get 50 for them, but ended up getting 45 um, Again, shipping media mail, though, that's still great money. Um, so if you see that book lot out there, the my A, the, the books are listed, my A, my B, my C book. Each, each letter has a different one, and then X, Y, and Z have their own as well. Um, definitely um, pick those up. This is pretty cool. Mountain Dew Code Red Clock. Paid a dollar for it in the thrift store. Didn't know if it worked. It's just battery operated. Uh, put a battery in. It did work. Um, it's just a plastic clock. No lights or anything. Doesn't plug in. Uh, had it up for 100 Someone within a week or so offered me. We ended up meeting at 50 He was in Vegas. So shipping to them was, was pretty cheap. Um, not sure what it was worth because there really weren't any comparables on there. But at that point, a dollar into 50 and it's shipping one state over is pretty cheap. So I was happy with that. Um, these pictures are really bad for the scrubs here. Um, don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but I did. And um, I've since changed all the scrub photos or, that I had been selling. So you'll see that later. But I bought a box of scrubs for 5 bucks. Had a ton of scrubs in there, and you'll see in this video a bunch that have sold. Here was one set for $21.99. I just split them up by size and put them in lots of usually three, and it seemed to do pretty well. Mugs, don't really like to pick them up. Used to, but honestly, you can make money off them, but I don't really bother unless it's a really nice Starbucks one or some of these Disney ones. This was a Tinkerbell mug. I paid a dollar for it. It was in great shape. I had it for a few months, and it was at 25 bucks. Someone finally, I lowered it down to 21 Someone bought it and it shipped to Arizona. So I'm in California, so cheap shipping was cheap, and no complaints on that. So pretty good. Buffalo Bill Super Bowl jersey with the Cowboys, Super Bowl 27, paid a dollar for this or dollar ninety nine. Um, had it for a long time, finally got around to listing it. Within a couple of days, someone offered me fifteen. I counted with twenty. They didn't. They declined it. 
waited another week or so, hadn't heard back from anyone else or no real interest. So I messaged the guy and said, hey, man, if you want it for 15, it's yours. He offered me 15 that day, paid, shipped it out, and I got good feedback. So if someone does offer you something and you initially kind of back off on it, especially if it is something more unique, um, you know, if it's like printer ink or something, they probably already have found it with someone else. But something like this, it doesn't hurt to message them back and say, hey, would you still do this? A lot of times I've had success with that, and, you know, you can still get a sale out of it. And sometimes you're looking just to move something, get some money for it, make some profit, and get it out of your um, inventory. Other scrub lot from the same five dollars. Uh, this was twenty-two bucks for three extra large tops. Um, had pretty good patterns on this one, so that was great. Uh, moving on, Scrub Star pants. This is from the same lot of scrub. These were brand new, and they were the Breast Cancer Support Edition. Um, extra large had the tag. Uh, Thirteen bucks for those. Another emblem here from the same lot that I had the K5 Blazer one. This is a Chevelle. Um, this one sold for twenty-five bucks pretty quickly. Super C video game. I like to sell the video games individually if I can for Nintendo, any system really. If they're worth $8 or more, a lot of times I'll sell them individually. One, I just like the idea of selling them to someone who's collecting. Possibly that's pretty cool. Uh, it usually generates a good feedback. Shipping's always first class if it's an individual game. And it seems to be pretty quick sale. So 22 bucks, pretty awesome there. One of my favorite finds, um, Jersey wise was Dream Team Reggie Miller jersey. I bought two Dream Team jerseys. I bought five jerseys in total at Savers and they were all amazing. I sold all of them for at least 30 bucks. Um, this one was a Reggie Miller one. I also had a Grant Hill one that sold for 35. I had a um, Dennis Rodman Bulls jersey that sold for 40. I had a Dwayne Wade Miami Heat jersey that sold for 45. Brand new with tag. And then I had a Shaquille O'Neal jersey um, champion that sold for 35 So it was awesome. This was the last one left. Had it at 35 No one bit. Dropped it down to 30 It sold within like two days. So I paid four or five, five or six bucks for that one. Another um, scrub set. This was the actually pants that matched the top. Um, 15 bucks for that. So I got good feedback. A little glare here on the game. But uh, Ratchet and Clank, I paid $2. It sold for 12 I'll pay two dollars for a video game that will sell for ten or twelve bucks because I know I can make something if it's a pretty quick sale. This one was um, more scrub stuff. As you can see, the numbers are adding up on the scrub stuff quite a bit. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine for um, two petite extra large scrubs. So they're larger waist but shorter legs. Those did pretty well. And then um, five scrub pants size large went for twenty seven. Awesome um, Nintendo Wii 25th anniversary Zelda game here. This came in the lot um, that I spent uh, $20 on, and this one went for $40, so I've already sold three or four games from that lot. And then this is not my sale right here. It's my wife's sale. It's her um, Harvey's Night or Nightmare Before Christmas seatbelt bag. She had gotten it as a gift. Was ready to get rid of it. Um, it sold on the best offer of four twenty-five. I have gotten good feedback on it. It is the highest dollar amount I've had in one single sale, and it's not. Even, I can't even take credit for it. So that was kind of. I got to beat that so that way I can show that I can sell something over four hundred dollars. But I've only been in the three hundred so far, um, but still pretty good because uh, this was originally two hundred dollars brand new. The person that had bought it, so even used, it's now gained two hundred and something dollars. They're pretty unique. They're made out of seat belts. Harvey bags that are seatbelt bags, even if they're not Nightmare, can do well. I've sold another one in the past for $75 and I had paid $10. So, but if you do see Nightmare for Christmas purses, they can do well, so definitely look them up. Uh, more scrubs, two more toppies with three XLs. They went for $15. Microsoft Office, Home and Student, I always pick these up. Um, it did have uses left. Uh, it was a dollar, it sold for $38. You can check with Microsoft on their website. You can talk to. Um, one of the chat peoples, um, and they'll look up to see if there's a use left. Sometimes they'll tell you how many. Sometimes they'll just tell you that you have at least one use left. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and you can always use it as a resource to verify it. Because there's only three uses in the home and stu student one. So if it's the retail one, then it has unlimited, I believe. Um, this is a Starbucks mug. Again, I don't really sell mugs much anymore. This one was left over. It sold for 18 Not a whole lot of money there. But Starbucks mugs can do well depending on what cities they are and stuff like that. Littlest Pet Shop. Love Littlest Pet Shop. Um, one of my newer things that I've started selling probably in the past year. Um, individually, sometimes they go for 
you know, 20, 30 bucks, depending on which one they are. This was a, a nice looking orange cat, and it sold for 16. Um, a pair of Joe's jeans called the Best Friends jeans. I don't know why they're called that. Um, they were size 32, uh, and they ended up selling for 27 bucks. So I paid 20 bucks for I think five pairs of Joe's jeans a while back, and um, this one I got 27 bucks for. I don't even know if I sold the other one but listed them yet, so I probably should get around to that. Um, some Shimano cycling shoes. These were actually returned. Uh, they're in great shape. Don't even look like they were really used. The lady said they wouldn't work with her bike, so she returned them. They came back in good condition. There was no issue. So I did accept the return. I need to relist them and see. We can sell them. And then uh, Canon PowerShot here. I love selling digital cameras, even ones that are a little bit um, lower on the megapixel side. I mean, now they have 15 megapixels you might see, or even like 16. This was a 12.1. It's still sold in the box with the with the case and you know instructions and all that for 45 bucks and I had paid five so I sold one that was like an eight megapixel before and I sold one I think that was a six and I still got like 15 bucks and it works so even older ones if they do work um, you know especially if they're complete in the box like this it might be worth picking them up for a few bucks and you can flip them for something uh, another Chevelle emblem this is the last of those three it sold for 20. And then Webkin's um, Charm Lot. I bought a whole box of these um, for $10, and I've sold four or five different lots. Now this one sold for eight. So I made all my money back. They're really slow sales because Webkin's aren't as popular anymore, and they're just the charms. But I'm going to keep them listing because if someone comes back and looks, you know, if I can make eight or $10 off the different lots I have, that's pretty good. Um, let's go to the other the last bit of May. Indiana Jones, NES game, not much to say, 11 bucks. So look up your video games individually, see if they're worth anything. In my opinion, if you can sell them for 11 bucks each, it might be worth it. Um, with, with free shipping, you can ship them first class. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, Troy Aikman, tie-dye shirt. I'm a Cowboys fan, so this caught my eye naturally. Uh, it was $2 at the Goodwill, and it sold for 18 iPhone box seems kind of stupid. It is an iPhone 4. It only got seven bucks, so this one wasn't that great. But when I first got all this Apple stuff, I had gotten an Apple, um, the iPad Air, two boxes for those, three or four iPhone boxes, including iPhone 5s, and one MacBook Pro box. They were just boxes, had instructions and stuff in there, and the packing stuff, but no, um, con like no machine or any porridge or anything like that. Just the kind of cardboard and instructions and they were all free from someone at a garage so she had them stacked out and said hey you can have them I took them I sold the MacBook box I think for 30 bucks just the box I sold a couple of the iPhone boxes for 15 bucks this one obviously down to seven and then I sold the iPad Air boxes for 15 bucks around there too so not a ton of money but it was all free money so um, if you have a box for something and it's something that does cost a lot of money initially it might be worth looking up to see if it's worth anything. And sometimes old toys and stuff like that, old board games, if you just have a box, sometimes the box is still worth picking up. People want that for their to complete their set. Um, awesome coloring book here. Universal Monsters. Loved it. Um, it had a couple of, not a couple, had six or seven pages that were colored in, um, which really dropped the price on this. It was 50 cents, and I ended up selling it for 15 Um would have been probably 25, maybe 30 bucks if it was um, not used. I saw one that sold for that much. But old coloring books, depending on the subject matter, can do well. Our little pet shop, as you can see here, something's wrong with their eye here. I'm not really sure, but it's all jacked up, um, in my opinion. But she was made this way, and she sells for 13 bucks. So pretty happy with that. Miami Heat jersey, Shaquille O'Neal, when he was over there um, with D. Wade. Um, this was a dollar at a garage sale. This is kind of a lesser quality jersey. Um, I don't pick these up unless they're about a dollar because I don't want to waste my time with them. But it's a size large and it's Shaquille O'Neal. He's a pretty cool guy and he's still pretty popular. So for a buck, it sold for ten. So pretty good. Still, I'll make five or six bucks on that. Zelda Ocarina of Time 64 game. One of the ones you definitely should know if you're out there picking. This is one you want to find. It sold for thirty bucks. Easily Guilty Gear. I don't even know why I tried to sell this for $4.99, but it did sell. I may have made a dollar or something. Not worth my time to probably list it again for $4.99. Better off just putting in a lot of games and trying that way. 
three more scrubs. Um, as you can see, I changed the photo style on these. I just folded them up, and it looks a lot better aside from my circular table there. But still, someone bought it for 22 bucks, so that was great. Little pet shop. Uh, this little purple wiener dog here. Um, the wiener dogs always do pretty well, it seems. Ten bucks for a quarter. They did have a little bit of scuffs, but I've been able to sell little pet shop with scuffs before. People know they play with them, so as long as you list that, you can sell them pretty well. And if you take a little cloth or something, you can usually get a lot of them out. This is a firefly. You can't really see it, but it's an ornament. It's a Christmas ornament. It's like a little ship from the series Firefly. Um, I paid a dollar for it. It's from like a prize box or where every month you pay for a subscription, they send you a box of stuff. I think this one came one year for somebody, and they sold it to me for a dollar, and it sold for 18 like that day. So that was pretty cool. GameCube. Love selling GameCubes. They still do really well. I bought the system and the cords for 10 I threw a con controller and a memory card and two games with it that I already had. The games aren't really worth anything. The controller... You know, it might be 15 maybe in the GameCube uh, memory cards with a little, but I sold them all for 60 I was happy with that. I ship them in a medium flat rate. It fits nicely and um, ships priority. So I don't try not to pay too much on the system and stuff. I usually have games that I've acquired that are lesser games, and I throw two of them with there just to make it look better. I have other controllers, but I don't put more than one with it because um, you can either sell the controller by itself or I just save them for other systems that come up. But for 60 bucks, still pretty good. Another Disney scrub. This one was a Cheshire Cat. Um, it's the only Disney scrub, I should say, but another scrub from that lot of $5 that I paid um, for that whole box. This one sold for 15 If you do find Disney ones or Nickelodeon ones or some kind of specialized, like Scooby-Doo or something, sometimes those ones are worth putting up by themselves, I've noticed. And you can get 10 or 15 bucks just for the top because it is so um, unique. Thousand Scrabble tiles, not much to say. Sixty-five bucks. If you buy Scrabbles, count them in a, lots of a thousand. You can make it sixty-five dollars. I usually get a hundred per Scrabble unless you get like a deluxe or a super Scrabble or something. So that was pretty good. Sonic Scrubber. This was a cleaning utensil for our kitchens and bath. They had two of them in a box. They had ordered them online. I think it was like a as seen on TV type thing or something. Uh, I paid three bucks for both of them. This one was open, but it looked like it wasn't used. It did work. It sold for thirty bucks. I still have one left. It is completely. It's the same setup, but it's blue. It's not open at all. And I had it at forty. While this one was at thirty, and didn't get any offers. Moved to thirty-five. Still nothing. And now I'm down to thirty-two. I'm hoping it'll sell. So kind of crazy. This one sold so quickly, and it was already open. And that one's brand new. And I it won't sell, but I already made all my money back anyways, and then some, and hopefully I'll make even more when this than one does sell. Uh, this was a cool Bruins UCLA Pro Player jacket, paid $4.99. Um, thought there'd be a stain. I couldn't see one at the store, but thought for sure being all white, there'd have to be something when I got home. There wasn't. It was in great shape, and someone came out the gate and offered me $37. did not even counter with 40 I felt like they really came up to play on this one. 37 bucks was a fair price. Um, they weren't going for, for that much, honestly, or comparable ones. There wasn't one just like mine, but for 37 bucks and I paid 5 I wasn't going to lose that sale, so I accepted. I think I could feed back, too. Um, Nike, Son of Love, Gary Payton's. These were 2 bucks at a garage sale. They are worn inside. You can tell they're not in perfect shape. Um, obviously, this photo doesn't really give credit to how worn they are, but um, a lot of people do fix up and restore old shoes. These ones were $2, and I sold them at a best offer for $35. Bad photo of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, but it did sell for $10. More scrubs from that lot. Four more pants, size extra large, sold for $22. Bucks. One of the, the greatest, if not one of the greatest, uh, Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan. You know, everyone knows him. His jerseys still sell, even though there still are a lot out there. His jerseys still sell well. This is a champion one, size 40, so a little bit smaller. Um, usually bigger stuff is a little bit better jersey wise, but um, it had a couple of black marks on it down at the bottom, below where the champion is. Um, on the bottom seam, there's a couple of black marks and some on the back collar. The guy knew they were there. He could see him. He was worried about him. He only wanted to pay 30 I told him 40 and then he said 30 again. And I just said, look, dude, if you want to do this, 35 bucks, it's done. And he accepted. And he gave me good feedback. He said the marks were actually less than he thought they were. So he was happy with that. So that was awesome. He got a cool jersey. 
love jerseys to sell. One of my favorite things because um, I just love sports, and you know, people seem to be willing to pay up for old jerseys. Sherlock Holmes box set. It's a two-volume set. Paid a dollar at a thrift store, I believe, and sold it for ten. Not a whole lot, but I'll make four or five dollars on it. Uh, book book boxes or books box sets do well. Harry Potter does well. I mean, Snicket can do well. Um, also, the Narnia, if you get a box set for them, depending on what one it is, you pay cheap. You can usually get 15 bucks, 20 bucks sometimes for those. Granted, it's not going to get you rich. It's not going to be one of those sales that people talk about. you got to only make $20 per sale. But if you're in there and you can find it and you can pay low enough and it's medium now, there's not much packing involved, you can make some money. Polaroid One Steps. Polaroids are awesome. They always sell pretty quickly, it seems, if they're the 600 variety. This one was 5 bucks, sold it for 27 I shipped mine with some bubble wrap and a padded flat rate envelope, and they seem to do well. Uh, Super Monkey Ball 2, game I had sitting in one of my game video game boxes in the garage, sold it for 11 Lego Duplo lot, paid 5 bucks. Didn't know what set they were from, but it had farmers and horses and trailers and everything. And I sold it for $40 on a best offer. So I paid 5 It shipped in a... Um, I think in a medium flat rate is what, where it ended up going for. So pretty good though for forty bucks. I only paid five. Another Zelda game paid three dollars and it's paid up a little bit, but I knew it would sell for thirteen right away, so didn't really mind it too much. Mario Kart bought a sixty-four with some games for thirty-five bucks in the dude's garage. He didn't even have it out. I just asked him if he had video game stuff. He tells me to come in the garage. Pulls out a Super Nintendo or opens a drawer with a Super Nintendo and a sixty-four. 64 was still great at 35 bucks. It came with three controllers, um, the system, the expansion pack in the system, Mario Kart, Doom, which I already, which I recently sold, um, another game up here, Star Wars, that sold, and a couple other things. So it was worth it for 35. But he had a Super Nintendo with probably 250 dollars in just games. He would not sell it. I asked him. I said, "What do you want for the Super? You know, I'll buy it for you. I got money." He would not. He wouldn't even sell any of the games. He had Turtles in Time, um, whatever number Super Nintendo, the fourth one is, the the $50 one. He had Zelda. He had Super Mario World. He had Super Mario All-Stars, Mario Kart, Fire Emblem, um, all kinds of great games. So And he wouldn't sell them. Uh, that was kind of a bummer, but still did really well in the 64, and he gave me a fair price. He originally only wanted 20, 20 bucks. But his wife made him go to 35. So um, would have been even better at 20, but 35 was cool too. Nintendo Wii Sports, this is another Wii game. I paid three for this one, so paid up, but again, I knew it would sell right away. So I probably made five bucks. Holmes Air Filter, um, picked up two of these um, and a different kind of filter at Salvation Army for $3. This one was three, sold it for 30. It was brand new in the box, it was two filters in one. Um, definitely look out for sealed filters and cartridges and ink and stuff like that. Someone still has it somewhere and wants to get filters for it and not replace it. So that was great. Pokemon cards. Um, some kid had a little small lunch size Ziploc of Pokemon cards, wanted to show me them. He was a teenager, I guess, or a young teen. And he said $4 for the back. He said, I got some Charizards in there. One of them's a Mega. I know who Charizard is. I used to collect Pokemon, but I haven't been up on it now, so I didn't know what the EX were or what Omega was, really. He showed me. While I was looking at some other stuff, and my son was there looking at stuff, I just did a quick search on eBay, saw that Mega Charizards can sell for 4 bucks, and I'm in. There was a little crease in this one. Um, kind of look right where my mouse is over here. There was a little small crease there. I figured I'd sell them, put them together, and sell them for 35 So that was awesome. Four dollars, and I have a whole bag of cards that I'll just put in a lot and sell in a lot together. Uh, moving on, Star Wars. This was also with that Mario Kart system. Paid a, paid thirty five for it. Already sold the Mario for forty, so this for eleven. And then um, these Nordstrom shoe trees. These weren't a lot. A video that I had. I paid twenty five for a whole box. This is about half of what I bought. It sold for sixty. Shipped at a medium flat rate, so I've already made money at this point. Profited. And I've just sold another set that I had for 35, and I have one set left that I'll hope to get 30 or 25 for. So that was pretty good. Almost done. Um, sold this Department 56 um, Pine Trees set. Department 56 isn't what it used to be in the sense that I don't think it's as 
sought after. Uh, I think I used to be able to get a little bit more for some of the stuff I did sell, but this little set went for 18 I paid $10 for a box of Christmas stuff, most of it Department 56. Some pieces ended up being no good because they were broken. Uh, little pieces, but this one sold for 18 so pretty good, and I got good feedback, and actually, it did ship internationally, so through the global shipping program, and um, did get good feedback when it finally arrived. Also have 007, World is Not Enough. That'll be the end of the video here. This is the last game that sold. This is one I had lying around, um, kind of in that box where I found that Super Monkey Ball. I just had it, hadn't listed it. And I did list it. The manual was kind of beat up, a little bit of water damage on one side, but it's still sold for 12 months. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know it was a long video, but that's what I sold in May. I um, just wanted to give you guys, you know, some proof that some of this stuff is selling, and there is money to be made here. And what I'm actually making, I also feel like though the haul videos are the most fun, probably because looking at the cool stuff, sometimes seeing what I actually sold is more beneficial to getting better at this. I'm only doing this part time to make a little money on the side for me and I'm able to do pretty well I think. I've been blessed with a lot of good sales and fines and stuff like that so hopefully someone else who might be starting off or just wants to widen their knowledge a little bit can get something out of this video. If you do have any questions please like, comment, you know, subscribe, message me, let me know. Um, if there's anything I need to do better aside from pictures and the eBay listings, I already know that a lot of those could have been better. But if there's anything with the video itself um, just let me know and I hope you guys do well out there. Take care.